Hey, what's up? I'm Derek from Sub41. We're going to find out how well I really know our music videos. Well, when we made Into Deep, uh, we were about 20, 21 years old, and we shot that video over two days. That was one of the, in the days where you had a lot of money to make a video shoot, and it kind of felt like a little mini movie. Um, and it was out in the sun, and we all got really sunburned. I remember that. Uh, Dave actually, when he had to do the water thing where he comes out playing guitar, the guitar solo in the water, that took like two and a half, three hours of him having to be pulled under and back up and pulled under and back up, which, you know, it was funny at first, but after a while, it wasn't so cool. The final score for the final dive, the big score, was it 41? Okay, okay. I don't know why we wouldn't have made it 41. That would have been the obvious. Had four judges. Uh, I guess we, yeah, whatever. Still Waiting was a fun video shoot. Um, it was kind of, I mean, the idea of that video was to sort of make fun of ourselves and make fun of the music industry by trying to copy sort of the new style of music which was bands like The Strokes and The Hives and The Vines and all the, the bands. Um, I think my favorite part about that video is that actually I was in London staying at the same hotel as The Strokes and Julian the singer and I stayed up way too late or way too early depending on how you look at it. And after you know about 20 drinks, I finally said, hey, you know, we got this idea for this video where we parody your video, what do you think about it? And he said, please do it. I would think that would be awesome. So we had Julian's blessing. That's why. That's the only reason we went ahead with that video. The the fake names we had in the still waiting video. I was Sven. There was Thurston. There was Sergio. And I don't remember the last one. Uh, so the video for Pieces was a really fun video shoot. It was actually based on, there was these uh, travel trucks. They were advertising vacations that were driving around Toronto. And Steve-O saw them and brought it up to us. I think he took a photo of it. And we all said, oh, this would be a great idea to do a video based around this traveling truck of like this scene, the perfect scene inside of this truck. I don't remember any of the slogans that were there except for the very last one, which was funny because it was supposed to be the perfect life and then the F falls, but that wasn't planned. That actually happened and turned it into the perfect lie. That was just, that happened on its own.